Good morning, YouTube. It is Friday, the last build day, hopefully, for the hearse engine. Having my morning coffee here. And uh, about to leave and head to the parts store because I got to pick up the new starter and all the fluid, the coolant, the oil, oil filter, transmission fluid, um, a new belt, all that stuff. So gonna grab all that and then we'll keep building so the trash companies here so anyways to hold those springs in while you're putting this thing back together because you if you push the little contacts in the springs just push them right back out there's a little pinhole in there so i just got a piece of like wire of hard wire like a coat hanger kind of and i shoved the spring in shoved the contact in stuck the the rod in there to hold the one and then I did the second one shoved it all the way through I uh, re-greased this and then put the case back on and then you slide your pin out the, the coat hanger wire or whatever and your two contacts should spring back in correctly it wasn't too hard just make sure that when you put it back together you have it in an orientation that's correct for you um, like this bolts to the bottom half of the engine and then this bolts to the mount at the top for the adjusting screw and you want to make sure that you have that to where this is close you don't want it like down here your wires might not reach so you gotta have these in a place that will reach which even i may have done it um did i do it upside down <laughs> i may have to be honest with you i might have done it upside down now that i'm looking at it Damn. All right, looks like I gotta take this apart and flip it. Gotta spin it 180. That's supposed to be on the top here, I think. Yeah, that looks right. So we still have another like hour and a half until the gaskets show up. So I'm just doing all the small things. Um, picked up this delicious Baja Blast while we were next door. Um, I still need to do some other little bit of metal work, but there's my brand new hoses right there for the um, power steering. So now that won't leak because that used to leak. I'm just kind of buttoning everything up. All right, guys, building time. I got the head gaskets in. They weren't cracked or bent. I already did this passenger side head. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how I torque down the driver side head. The torque spec for these head bolts is 115 pounds. Sorry, 115 foot pounds. The size is a three quarter. So what I like to do is because the because it's such a high torque, is I like to do it in increments. Because you're supposed to start from the center and work your way out. And if you just go straight to 115 pounds on the first bolt, you could warp some things. So what I like to do is do it in increments. So I'm gonna start at 60 or 50, I'm gonna do 50. We'll start at 50 foot pounds and we'll start in the middle and we'll star pattern it. After that's done, we'll bump it up to probably about 90 pounds. And then once we finish that, we'll bump it up to the final torque spec of 115. We're gonna start right here in the middle. Make sure it's locked and then double check and you're at 50. You're not gonna over torque it because we're starting at a third. There we go. Two.
So now I'm gonna move up to 90. This is where it gets pretty difficult here. Now time for our final torque of 115. That's where I'm gonna struggle. This thing is pretty Correctly, and I just give it another one just to make sure it clicks. Before I put the studs in there, I did clean them very well. And I also used the ARP um, stud oil that they give you. These are ARP head studs. These are not stock um, bolt head bolts. Brother, that won't do. Oh yeah, oh well. Welcome to my hell. So, she's pretty much done. I gotta do a little bit more cleaning, but I set all these correctly. Um, basically, it was just because I was using the impact, it was wanting to spin it, but once I held it and I used the torque wrench and torqued it, you'll see where I had to cut out some of that. You're not really supposed to, but because we have these head studs, I had to cut out a little bit on some of them, but that's okay. The intake is now on and torque to spec. Here was a little test of the Cadillac Blue I threw on the other day. Looks pretty damn good. I am really excited for this build. So I need to do the oil pan next. I just want to go through all my bolts, double check, make sure everything's correct, you know. None of these should be loose here. 
Uh, make sure there's no little dust or debris in here and which there shouldn't be because I cleaned them pretty well. You can see some original Cadillac blue in there, but I will continue um, to keep going. And let's see. So yeah, I'm gonna do, we need to clean in here very carefully. All that gunk from the fire extinguisher. So to clean that out, We'll throw a, a plug in there, one of these dirty ones. And then I'll get in there with a pick and pick all that out. So I'll keep working and then we'll paint this thing. Alrighty, everybody, that is it for today. It's done, it's built, it's painted still wet so I'm gonna let it dry it looks a little shiny right now because I just stopped painting it but it will dry that dark Cadillac blue so just gonna let it dry for a few minutes and then I'll take this tape off so it doesn't leave too much residue uh, I put the old oil filter on here just as a block and I'm gonna paint this black but the rest is that beautiful caddy blue. So I'm just gonna let this dry overnight. The only thing I'm gonna take off tonight is some of this tape here, um, but everything else is ready. Let it fully dry and cure overnight. The silicone, gasket maker, whatever. The uh, Let the paint cure. All my other parts are painted. So tomorrow will be assembly and dropping the motor. I think it came out pretty good. I just really hope it runs really good. That's all that matters to me. <laughs> but um, I think this is going to look nice with all the black accessories on it. I also painted when I took apart the... Where did it go? The alternator, I painted it. So that looks pretty nice to match everything. And I did fix it. I, I did have it backwards, so I spun it, fixed that. All these parts are ready. They got their bolts ready, nice and painted. Headers over here ready. New starter, new oil filter. Uh, plenty of hose clamps, new gasket. I'm gonna clean up the filter, clean those before they go back. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, but we're going to get this thing back in the car and running tomorrow. Plan is about eight in the morning. I'll be out here prepping everything in the engine bay, which is pretty much ready to go. And then I'll be prepping the engine, mounting it to the transmission. And um, after that, it will be... Once that's mounted, we'll be dropping it. Once this thing is dropped in, then it's going to be a couple hours of um, setting everything up. There's not too much electrical, you know. We have to do the starter, obviously. But um, put the starter... The starter will already be on, but we'll have to wire up the starter. Then we're going to need to um, time the motor, get it to top dead center, put the distributor in, put all the new spark plugs in, and stuff like that. Um, yeah, hook up the oil pressure gauge, temperature gauge, all that stuff. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace, Halloween Hunters with the 472 build. See you guys tomorrow.